Hello YouTubers. As I'm no longer making personal videos, what I mean by personal is... I can't even find the word, but let's just stick with the word uncomfortable rather than awkward. Um, yeah, I'm not making those videos anymore. As much as people have really helped me out, or at least tried to. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a personal one, but personal in a different way. Because I really do need to apologise to a lot of people. And this video is about each individual person. First up, I have... Leon Purvis. Seriously, bro, I'm so sorry for destroying your old phone. I was misled and I didn't intentionally try to upset you. Your old phone was broken and with no names mentioned, you know who she is. Uh, I was simply doing what I thought was right at the time. I shouldn't have... ...absolutely wrecked your probably already broken phone. I shouldn't have ripped that apart anyway. That was very, a very bad decision of mine. My second... Apology for something that happened is also for Leon Purvis. I am seriously sorry for upsetting you when you were talking to somebody on the phone and it came through on my end. Like, I just felt not the word abused and I'm not looking for sympathy here as this is definitely an apology video. I'm going to have to try to get my words straight. Just a moment. Hopefully that was quick enough. I've just started recording again. Um, you might have seen the jump skip thing. I'll shut up and Get on with this apology video, okay? When things are... Like with conflict and you don't know what's going on. You think your partner is cheating on you and... You try to express it. And other people end up hurt. And Leon, I know you got upset. Sorry if it's embarrassing to you, but... Everybody cries. And everybody hurts. I could have dealt with that situation a lot better than I did. But I seriously feared being hurt. Yet again, Leon, I'm so sorry that it actually upset you so much. But every man can cry. I, I've learned a lot from that experience and... Oh, I don't know what else to say. If you want to comment on this video that you don't forgive me, then I fully understand. I'm not asking for forgiveness. So, that's all I can think of right now. Of apologies to Leon. The second person 
is Danny Emerson. Uh, I'm sorry for a fair few things that I've said over the phone and things. I have jumped to conclusions and I thought a lot of things were going on that weren't actually going on. Danny, seriously, from what I remember of you a fair few years ago, you are actually genuinely a great guy. I won't mention a specific person's name, but let's just call her my current wife. Um, that's the best way to put it that I can think of, okay? Danny, you and like, her or she and you used to talk when she was in the bath, naked, with the camera on. So that's why I was like, okay, this ain't right. Not in a marriage, like a married life. And connecting to this, she was really jealous of me talking to my friend in Canada, all those miles away. But my camera wasn't on on my laptop. I was in the bath. But I was just chilling out with a great friend that I've had for so many years. And we talk about a lot of things. As much as I haven't spoke to her for quite a while. Not in a phone call anyway. But that doesn't matter. This is a serious apology video. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this... There are no words for it that come to my mind right now. I need people to know that... I feel really bad about how I've treated people in the past. Treated is the word right. I've always thought that threat is a word, but apparently it's not. Oh well. The third person. Craig Lowry. I always have an issue with that, with my upper teeth problem. Saying the surname. Low, lower, lower. Anyway, Craig. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't mean that in an offensive way. Yeah, um, we used to get along and I uh, know that you tried to help. He tried to help us out with our relationship, getting rid of somebody. Craig, if you're watching this, you know who that somebody is. Don't mention his name, please. Yeah, um... Another time to pause and think about how the hell I word things here. Right, there are so many things that I could say. I know why you fought back. I was simply trying to check that my wife was okay. If you can hopefully see it from my point of view that you, even as a friend to her, staying in her home while she is sleeping, you know, what would a husband generally think? Yeah, so I definitely understand why you have issues with me. 
it's too hard to explain, but this is my sincere is the best word I can think of right now. There must be a much better word, Craig. But uh I can't think right now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I am missing out a lot of things. Which I can't say, basically. If this video does not match up and it doesn't make sense, this is because I'm going through a lot of memories and I am just keep stopping and starting things. Trying my best to apologize. Sorry to this guy that I, th I think he is Jordan. I can't remember any other names, like surnames, last names, middle names, whatever. I'm going to stop trying to do my... Avoid anxiety thing by making a bit of a giddy laughing thing about it. No, this is a very serious subject. So I think this guy's name is Jordan. Jordan, if you see this and if that is your name, if I'm thinking about, you were misled as well. We had that fight. I threw a fake punch just for a laugh to let you know. No, she is my wife. And as you said that you two are together now. Well, he said that way back then, but hopefully this makes sense. You've been misled as well. Even though... Yes, even though you made me temporarily blind in my right eye. This one. Because the retina folded down or something. And... You know who she is. She said... She held her fingers up and she was like, how many fingers do you see? And I was like, how many fingers do I see? I'm telling you that I can't see properly with my fucking right eye. What is... How many fingers can I see? You're not doing a test. It, <laughs> I know that I can't see. I need serious medical help. I never did get that help. I do forgive you though, for not knowing the truth. It's a shame that us guys just fall for such lies. Maybe other names will come to me. After I've finished this video, fully edited it, and then I'll think of more, pe more of people's names. To the Colin, there are various Collins around in my life and my experience. I barely know what you look like. But to the Colin that is currently, you know, currently, I'm not going to say any more, just currently with. Mm. I hope you, that 
I fully hope that you don't go through the bad experiences that other people have with being in a relationship that can easily turn to a bad thing don't get me wrong she is awesome extremely attractive and much more visually attractive than I am I just all I can say is that I wish you all the best and Good luck, Colin. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. Just be cautious. I'm just giving you advice. I'm not talking shit about anybody. I'm here as a respectful person. I don't want comments from anybody that I've spoken about in this video. A thank you would be nice, but nah, it's not important. No way. I don't want to know what my wife is up to. I don't want to know. This is simply an apology video. Oh god, all the comments are going to come in. And I'll have another fucking heart attack. No, do not comment unless you want to kill me with the shock of whatever. That would be at least manslaughter. Anyway, there's my apology video. I've fucked up already, haven't I? Because now people are going to be commenting stuff. I'm just being sincere and honest. I don't want to know the truth. I'm just struggling to get on with my life. And these apologies are not for me to feel better. These are things that... I just need to do because I have upset a lot of people in my past and it's taken me actually years now to finally make a video about it I don't want sympathy didn't I say that before I don't want a, a comment of something like it's okay, Steve. I understand. Apology accepted. I just... I want you to be okay. Thank you so much for watching. I could have made a much better video than this. But I'm a dick. Let's see if that changes over time. I can only try my best. Yet again, I'm not begging for forgiveness. It's just some things that I needed to get off my chest because I feel so bad about things and it doesn't help me. Not, it does help me, but it's not to help me. I'm more concerned about the people that I've upset. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.